A while back, we had taken a look at one of the best AI full stack app builders, a tool that could turn a single prompt into a fully functional app with a built-in database, zero config auth, file uploads, real-time UIs that actually look beautiful, and even a background workflow. That tool was called Chef by Convex. And now Chef is completely open source thanks to the Convex team. For those who do not know, Chef is one of the very few AI app builders that can actually code out a backend fluently, not just front-end mockups. Convex is also an open source reactive backend platform that provides real-time databases, serverless functions, and built-in authentication for seamless full stack development. They have now made Chef fully open source so that you can easily get started with it which is what we're going to be showcasing today. But just take a look at the quality of Chef. You can simply tell it to create a Notion clone. And in this case, you can be as descriptive as possible, provide it a couple of different files or even mockups, and then you can send in this prompt. It's a super simple process. And this is where Chef is going to be able to take in your prompt and fully configure it and build it out. It doesn't just generate the UI. It doesn't generate some sort of mockup it is going to build it complete with production ready full stack components with an authentication system a built-in database as well as so that you can have it monitored in the back end but now the best part is is that this is a full-on open source tool that you can work with locally and this way it is going to allow you to build anything on your local computer you're going to have a zero config authentication system set up. You have file uploads as well as the real time UI with background workflows. And the secret sauce is definitely Convex's open source reactive backend and database designed to make your life super easier because this is something that will be leveraging Convex's powerful APIs, which is well suited for AI code gen. And you can see right here that it is even running terminal based commands and executing a plan to create this Notion clone. And this is where you can actually get a live preview of what it's actually generating in action. There we go. We have a full on functional app based off of the natural language prompt that was sent in. We have a full on authentication system that was fully configured and built that is linked to our database, which we have a live preview of the different sorts of accounts that are registered. We can manage the functions, files, as well as all the logs with our app. But now we can sign in anonymously and we can actually take a look at the Notion clone that it generated, which looks actually amazing because we can go ahead and add in a document title and then we can make it public and create it. And we can now initialize the document and you can work with it like you would with Notion. So for example, you can add in different sorts of headings, you can add in quotes, you can even add in different tables and all of this was fully coded out in a couple of seconds. This is what you can now do completely for free and with an open source framework that is locally hosted because you can link this up with local models and then you can have it running on your local computer to generate any sort of full stack app. And the funny thing is, is that this Notion clone was actually generated completely for free off of their cloud version, which you can access as well. And this is something that will also help you prototype quite rapidly. But now, say if you want to download the code, you can click on download code, you can share it, you can even deploy it directly from the Chef website. And you can see our site is deployed and now we can access it through this new Convex link. And I have mentioned this before in another Convex video, but you also have recipes. And essentially, this is where you can add new tool integrations inside your chef app so for example if you want to make a collaborative text editor you can add that recipe and it's going to be able to thoroughly add it within your app for example you can even enhance the prompt you can even use other recipes like adding an ai chat you can even add a file upload feature or a full-on text search feature as well into your application using these recipes but the beauty of Chef now is that you can now have it locally installed, which is where we're going to be now showcasing how you can set this up fully free locally. It's super simple and easy to get started. Head over to the GitHub repository and just make sure you have a couple of the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure you have Node.js installed as well as Git. And once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, we can proceed forward with installation. To install this, I will be using WSL, the subsystem for Linux on Windows. 
because it's a bit trickier to install this because NVM only works with Mac and Linux. You can find an alternative where you can install an NVM package for Windows, but it's a bit complicated. So if you want to use the WSL installation method, you can follow through with this example. So what you can do first is go ahead and clone this repository, open up your terminal and simply go ahead and paste in the git clone command to clone the chef repository onto your computer. Once it has finished cloning, we can then head over into the chef directory by typing in cd chef. Once inside the chef directory, you can copy the nvm install command. And this is where we're going to now set up the local environment. So simply go ahead and use the nvm install command. We're going to now use the nvm use command. Then you can simply use the npm install command to install and unpack all the packages. And now use the pnpi command. Now simply go ahead and create a .env.local file by simply copying the echo command and pasting it in within your terminal. Next, we can go ahead and use the npx convex dev dash dash once command. And this is where we're going to now set up the convex project. So this is where we're going to start with our convex project. Simply go ahead and create one if you do not have one already. You can create a convex account completely for free. This is for the database backend setup. So simply go ahead and create that with your Google account if you haven't already. Now, since we have already created one, we can click on login. And then this is where we can now select our device name. And then we can authenticate this. After authenticating your account, you can simply go ahead and create a new project. You can give it a name. So we're just going to name it AI Chef. And then we can have it either locally deployed or we can have it cloud deployed. So this depends on wherever you want to host your project. I'm going to be hosting it locally for now. So we're going to click on the local deployment. And once that is done, it is going to set up and download the backend for Convex. And you can see that it is now fully set up. What you can do next is use the npx convex dashboard command. And this is where you can set up the Convex deployment. So you can open up the Convex dashboard, go to the settings and set the environment variables. Then you can set the following environment variables for like brain host or the convex OAuth client ID, as well as the API keys that you can set within the env.local file. So I'm going to do that for both of these two different subsets. And just to showcase how you do this, after you have opened up the dashboard, which you can get the link from, you can then head over to the settings, go over to environment variables, and then provide all the four different environment variables that they require you to paste in. In the same manner, you want to simply go ahead and you want to go into the chef folder and you want to set your API keys over here. So in this case, if you want to use Anthropic, you want to set your Anthropic API key, Google, OpenAI, etc. You can also use uh, local models. So if you want to use something like Olama, you can configure that within this section over here. Next, you want to run the npx convex dev command in one terminal and the pnp run dev command in the other one. So now what we can do is head over to this local host link and we can open it up within our web browser. So now we can access the open source chef version off of our computer. It'll take a couple of seconds to load, but then you can start sending in any sort of prompt. In this case, I'm simply going ahead and building a shared expense app, a splitwise clone. And you can see that it is rapidly prototyping and working on building this out by coding out all the different components of this app. And that is how easy it is. And there we go. We have the shared expense app that was fully generated in a couple of minutes. You also have it so that you can actually rewind different checkpoints. So this way, if you want to go back to the previous generation, you can actually click on the rewind button, which should show up. In this case, it doesn't show up since I only sent in one prompt. But if you had another prompt, you can click on that rewind button to go back to the previous checkpoint. In essence, this is the capability of Chef. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. This, in my opinion, is the best full stack open source tool that's out there that you can easily get started and build in real time with reactive applications thanks to Convex powering it. It is going to easily help you in various ways to build various sorts of backend functions autonomously for your full stack app.
So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the links in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and give them a star because this is something that is fully open source and they are giving you a lot of value. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and take a look at this with the link in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spare positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.